I'm Matt Pickenin. I'm the co-founder of the Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar. Shuck and Shack is something that you have never encountered before. It's it's authentic. It's real. It is you and your your family at your beach house with a with a low country boil dumped out on a table with butcher paper. It's flip flops. It's shorts. It's t-shirts. It's just an authentic beach bar that serves really really good seafood. And it's it's a new feel to an old school East Coast oyster bar. The journey of the Shuck and Shack began in 2007. Uh, me and my business partner decided that we needed to open a little oyster bar in our hometown of Carolina Beach, North Carolina. We, we realized that there wasn't really a raw bar option. And it was about 2010 when, you know, we, we really looked at each other and said, hey, we've got something. Like, let's, let's start looking for a second location. So we signed a lease September 2012 on our second unit. It was 1,800 square feet, so we doubled our square footage. Another two years at that location, more profitability. We had a mutual friend that approached us about franchising. It was a way to grow our business, get what we thought was some of the best seafood around town out of the borders of you know, our little corner of New Hanover County. Our supply chain is, is locked down. You know, with U.S. Foods being our, our main purveyor, we can get seafood anywhere. We partner with oyster farms out of the Chesapeake and up and down the North Carolina coast. We know when we get oysters out of the water that we can get them to, let's say, Denver, Colorado in a day or two. The other thing we always do is always lock in one or two local fish markets, if at all possible, that we can always go to as a, as a secondary and they, and they may become our primary source for seafood. You know, knowing what they can get in and, and, and how they handle their seafood, but we'll interview people and we will make sure that you have more than one option for the supply chain. We wanna partner with people that see the value in what we have and want to grow and want to be a part of something that we think is gonna be the next big restaurant concept. We, we really think that this is going to take over some of the seafood places that are out there. And, and we want somebody that's, that's going to jump on board with us and, and be ready to grow. So fun is, is just what we do. You know, we don't take ourselves serious. You know, we're just a group that likes to run restaurants and have a good time doing it. So if you're looking for a, a concept that we're not gonna take the fun out of it, I mean, we're it. Man.